So hello again of course today um, I think uh, I'm going today um, be reviewing my first time playing NBA uh, 2K17 it's not the newest edition it's last year's edition but um, I've never played pretty much the only EA sport game I played were I think football um, and Formula 1 the early days of Formula 1 and of course I played um, I think I've not played uh, basketball at all. I've not played. Um, I've played golf, uh, the Tiger Woods PGA Tour. So this is going to be my first time ever playing um, NBA uh, 2K17. So let's see. Um, we go to play now. I've actually learned a bit of the rules uh, controls. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to choose any team. Uh, let's say I'm going to keep play the Philadelphia Tigers and I'm going to be as I'm going to be as probably Detroit uh, Toronto Raptors let's see um, New York Knicks, Sacramento Kings I really don't have an idea I mean which one are the best teams um, not, I'm not into NBA, NBA at all, um, but uh, yes, I, I'm just going to maybe choose a random one, maybe Los Angeles. So let's start. Sports show, brought to you by Kia. Now I love the um, settings that how they did uh, in the end this NBA. They have the talk time show. Um, I think this is what uh, maybe uh, the FIFA should do, the FIFA franchise. So um, pretty much these are the uh, you know intro games, which I think is pretty cool. It looks like a real life interview. So I'm just going to press forward. This one, the game is loading for now. Angelia Okafor, the former Duke star, came into the league and was an impact player right away. Uh, it's rare to see a player with so much polish this early in his career. You and Kenny hate this word, but I'm gonna keep on. So I think that's Shaquille O'Neal, um, quite a famous basketball player, but I have never seen how he played in real life. Um, as you can actually see, uh, this is my first time playing in my channel. Of course, all about football. So I of course tried to you know play. So I think 2K1. I think they have 2K18 already. It's, it's now a 2K19. But I thought I'm you know, trying something uh, 2K17 um, so that uh, it's a much more, you know, sometimes the newer games have a lot of virus in them. And I actually tore in these games, so I don't actually purchase them from Steam because, you know, unless I'm really like a fan of the game so I can play them online, but uh, it's my first time trying, so I just uh, pirate it. <laughs> Download. So I'm playing as Los Angeles Clippers versus, um, I think it was Boston. And I think the NBA crowd looks much, much more, uh, looks much more realistic than FIFA. Seriously, really looks uh, realistic. So um, W is actually for the. Uh, let's escape for a while and go to the controls. It's gonna actually see this. You got game plan, you got substitution, defense settings, uh, coach, sliders, play health, assign players, uh, game st stats, box, team comparison, shot, option. You got settings, coach, controller setting, configuration. Uh, we can go to configuration. And as you can see, I'm using a keyboard. So S uh, is for pass. E is for bounce, um, lob uh, for the uh, for the normal thing. A, lo a long pass is a lob pass, and shoot is for D, uh, where you actually just shoot the ball into the net. And for the defensive, it's actually just the same. Swap players, uh, take charge, steal is D, and then A for block. But as you can actually see later, I'm going to get. I'm not a professional at this, not really good at this. So I'm going to give a lot of penalties, uh, which is equivalent to in football uh, as um, where you give the ball away so anyhow let's start the game so Philadelphia will get the first possession look at the 76ers starting group 
Robinson Okafor together down low. Jared Bayless is out there with Henderson. And it's Covington. So I've scored the first. LA Lakers. I've actually not win a game yet since. And I get a bad hole. Damn. I've never win a game, so if I can win this one, it will be absolutely brilliant. But I don't think so. That's a pass, a miss. And it's the one thing that this Clippers franchise just they can't seem to escape. And that's two for me. There seems to be one odd story coming out from this. Need to focus. Oh, that's a on a fall. The graphics are much, much more better than than uh, football game, really. The uh, soccer, as you can so, as you call it in in the US. But absolutely, I think 2K games really have done justice. Uh, well, FIFA, of course, is just the same thing every time. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Okafor. There's the feed to Henderson. Just time on the clock. Picked by Okafor. Oh, three points. If you have a long range shot, you'll actually have three points. Oh. Oh my god, I'm actually three points behind. Do you call it points? I'm not sure. I really have no idea about basketball at all. Oh my word! <laughs> Damn! See, that's how you defend, really. You just hope that the ball doesn't go in. I don't know. I'm not a pro at this. So I have a penalty now. Now to score a penalty, the bar, the circle bar, have to go at least all the way. And if you get green, it's perfect. You get almost the way, then you score. So this is the penalty equivalent in football of, of the NBA. I mean, this is uh, how you play in foot in basketball. So as you can see, the bar have to go all the way. Let's look at it. Oh, missed it that time. I should have gone in. He doesn't get the second one. Well, after the well that's the worst. The Sixers have won fewer games than the season before. They're finally 9 to 4 already. Oh man. Am I going to lose again? Bringing the promise of better days ahead. And here is Los Angeles now. After the Sixers Oh, brilliant. Good from Mba Amute. The 76ers have gone 4 of 5 from the field so far. And Simmons kicks to Bayless. Oh man. See, I think in basketball it's very important for you to shoot in your opportunity because if not, you, you, you don't really have a lot of chance to defend. That's a fall. Oh no. It's 11 to 6 now, and he misses that one. Let's hope he misses this one. Miss it, you idiot! Oh, Kafo, I'm not sure who these guys are at all. Oh my word, he scores. 12 to 6, so oh, that is a thrashing there. Oh, finally. I have actually improved the last time out. Come on, I was defending him. And I'm not really sure, but every time you try to defend, it's a penalty. So I'm not sure. I mean, can you like defend any sort of, uh, you know, offense? 
it's just like you're giving away you know um it's it's like in football if somebody touches you then it's a penalty so i'm not really sure if that's how basketball works but pretty sure it's not but yeah i'm not really good at this game so i'm going to t i'm going to actually let all this defeat as some sort of a justification of my noobness in in in, in basketball i'm not even sure what level is this and post ups are losing favor in the league lately. Do you think guys Okafor's challenge fit the way the game is played now? Well, I clearly think his post game does have value. I mean, nowadays you just have less room to operate. I think he'll need to find other ways to help his team offensively, offensive boards, um, stretching the floor, things like that. Covington with the bucket. Oh man. Starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five. Passes That's have been fourteen to ten. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. So timeout, if what I have no notice is like the manager will actually have time to speak about uh, you know tactics or new tactics so it's like the uh, second half in, in, in football to lead a team both offensively and defensively and you, you know you get everything you want from him as a lead guard I mean he's not afraid of the big moment uh, also willing to be that vocal leader that you often need at times but let's see if ultimately he can be rewarded with a chance to play for a championship now here's Grant and the foul called on Jamal Crawford. That's his first foul. From outside the arc, good for the basket. Oh man, see in that in that kind of shot you just can't do anything. And that's why you see NBA scores are like hundred to sometimes a lot of uh, numbers is because of that it's all about the offensive it's not a defensive sport there's no like you know nil nil or only you know very short there's always going to be score line so i'm just going to focus that's brilliant 17 to 2 not bad but still not winning. Oh my god, it's a free throw. Eighteen to fourteen. Oh come on! Not two. You have to remember where this franchise was before Griffin and Paul. They still have a few years to take this team even further. Uh, unfortunately, they have been up against a stack Western Conference. Now, here's Grant. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And an intentional foul right there. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put. And uh, they have another troll. That's a miss. Let's hope he missed this one. Philadelphia to Lakers. Nope. 20 to 14. That, that is actually quite bad, I think. That's what teams are looking for these days in big guys. Oh, brilliant! Boy, this game is off to a fine start. Yeah, we're seeing some high octane offense from both sides in this. Here's Luol, and there's the call on Felt. That's his first foul of the game. Oh, not another fall. I don't know. I might. Pretty much, I'm a noob at this, but that is like quite hard to not give the fall away. The free throw shooting is an area they focused on improving coming into this season. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Yeah, you, you just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts. And that's a fall. For the opponent. You know, it's one of the things coaches like least is giving away points. I mean, they've been a step late. They've been caught reaching. 
Ah, what? The 76ers making a switch here. Stauskas is checked in. Ah, oh, that's it. First one for me. After three misses. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Stolen by Riggs. And now in transition is Pierce. Here we go. Got it. Good job in the low post. That's a counter attack. A really nice counter. Oh, not another fall. Damn. That's my only problem. Defense. I can attack, I can score, but it's always when I score 10, they're going to score 15. And when I score 20, they're going to score 30. That's the thing. With all these damn penalties. Or, or what they call it, an open throw. An open throw, actually. Yes, the term is an open throw. Good on both. He's a dead eye at the line, fella. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. So that's the first quarter. You have all together four halves to play. So the first quarter is done. You have three more quarters to go. So you got this mascot and all. Fortunately, I've always been vertically challenged, so I've never had to push myself. And you have these sight shows, like like in a very realistic one. So the second quarter starts now. So a penalty. And take some of that energy away from the fans. They don't like to have the action stop and the opposing team scoring. The forwards are Kyle Mute and Griffin. Melton is out there at Rivers, and it's Jordan in at the five down low. They're the group out there for the Clippers starting the second quarter. JJ Reddick's checked in for Los Angeles. Kicks it to Saric. Tries from 10. And <laughs> so he's actually blocked that legitly. Oh, damn it. See, they always need to score a few more points. Well, very close to drawing there just now, but nah. <laughs> I love that the ball stuck there for a while. It's very entertaining after a few times playing it. Oh, brilliant. That's really nice. <laughs> I'm not sure at all, man. It's really tough. Because... Oh, man. So now it's really getting close. I hope to. Oh man, nobody was there. Damn it. Where's my defend, man? Defense. <laughs> it's, it's really entertaining. Scored again, scored again, but I, of course, this is my first time playing basketball. I think if you guys have played every time. First time leading, man. Hey, hey! What? Yeah, the other thing though is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. And 
Mbamute pulls it in. No breathing room at all to take that shot. Guys are seeing some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum. Get it in. Oh, no. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's really fun, though. It's really fun. Oh! Man, this is getting so intense. So intense. Yes, Griffin! <laughs> Damn. Oh, is that a penalty? Is it, is it timeout? Oh no, it's just a... Uh, oh yes, it's a ball. Using that time to... Oh, what the hell? Why can't you score? Ah, oh, they equalized. Damn. Why can't he score? Ball. <laughs> Damn. They're just nasty, man. The Clippers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Ball. And the first one at the line is good. And head coach Brett Brown last season receiving a four year extension from the Sixers. Despite that, an office turnover put his job in question. Yeah, and I think a lot of coaches around the league are very protective of Brett Brown because they saw what he was going into and knew it was going to take a while. Uh, he's presided over such a drastic Oh, season. man. Uh, I think he deserves to this have is such a tough to game. So he can maybe reap some of the fruit of um, the sacrifice that, that he's made and the franchise has made and the way they've tried to build the team. Spates, and that comes off the assist by Raymond Felton. But I really like the graphics of uh, NBA. Oh! <gasps> Almost. Oh, that's a fall. Oh, no. No, no. It's in... So I just kind of understand. Some falls you get the free throw. Some falls you like a, a mid... Uh, caught, uh, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. The 76 is making a switch here. Grant's checked in, rejected by Pierce. So they have a free throw now. That free throw Out. Miss again, which is, I think, impossible. He's not going to miss twice. New front office. It'll be interesting to see how their approach changes. He missed. Oh, shit. <laughs> nope. He does not this miss. Been an organization willing to challenge convention in a lot of ways. We'll see if, in fact, that continues to be the case with the front office turnover. And stolen by Spates. Here's Crawford. And the yes. Beautiful Crawford. The 76ers trail by three. And here is Bayless. He's got five. Ball's knocked loose. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Oh, that sweat is quite realistic, though. Here's Luwala. There's the pass to Bayless. Teardrop shot. And the shot oh. goes in. Bayless has got five points in the quarter. 
Oh, cheers out of time. So that's the first half. After this, I will switch the field play. And we're through the first half of basketball here, and what's been a good one. Clippers ahead, leading by the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal, and some incredible work in this one by Blake Griffin. He had 12 points and two rebounds. He's been playing extremely well lately and making some new highlights for us already in this one. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? Efficiency. You know, I, I think that's big. That's a key. So this is the you statistics. The basketball. You can't make those risky pass. And that wraps up halftime as the game is set to get back. Let's go to the second half now. We return to Los Angeles now with a look at the Staples Center from high above the arena. Oh my god. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. You look at Blake Griffin in this game. He's been everywhere. And his play in that first half. How about the discipline to go along with the efficiency, guys? His shot selection was just perfect. Oh no. Whether it's been from They're ahead. He is taking only what the defense has given him and not trying to do too much. Very much playing within himself. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. That seems all fueled. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Just steal it there. Zanoka board together down low. Jared Bayless is out there with Anderson. And it's Covington in at the three spot. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. It's fall for Noah Mauti. up a bit short. It's a neck and neck game here in Los Angeles. Paul dishes to Mba Amute. And Philadelphia grabs the Son of fall. Boy, he really bungled that thing. And Count the best he is fouled and he's going to the line for one more. What's up? They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't Oh no, another penalty. I mean, the defenders or a throw. Another fall, I think. Down low. You gotta play with some physicality in the paint. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. That's a brilliant throw. In the game. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Down low, here's Moore. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Okafor's got seven. That is really outstanding work by Okafor. He's a real talent in the paint. And when you see Ben Simmons on paper, it might not be that impressive, but once you watch him move, you see what the hype is all about. Uh, runs like a guard with a forwards body. Incredible quick yes. for his size makes him a nightmare matchup. And with Simmons and his frame, it shines in the open court. He can handle the ball and lead a break like two others can at that size. So 46 to 45 now. Simmons in any situation is the control he has over his speed and body often you see physically gifted players like him take time to learn how to control both of those attributes Simmons oh. has an NBA ready body he has the dexterity and power over it to make incredible things happen on the floor rebound by the 76ers Simmons got three rebounds so far in the game Here's Covington. He started by Mbamute. Henderson, no one around him. And a miss. Wow. For Los Angeles. Let's see. Two of five shooting here in the third quarter. Here's Covington. Here's Bayless. And Jordan sends it back. That's a nice block. Nice block. That's the first time I've not conceded a penalty from the block. The 76ers also with a sub. Rodriguez is check in for Jared Bayless. The Clippers trail. Griffin passes to Johnson. Puts one up from 19. And the shot is good. Johnson's got his second basket. Philadelphia's gone 3 of 7 tonight from three point territory. Here's Simmons. And then slams it in. The vertical of Simmons, guys, I tell you, an extraordinary dunker when given the chance 
to launch and lift like that. Here's Rodriguez. Off target from three-point range. Well, it's just been one of those kind of games for him. Left side, Jordan. Clippers moving the ball around. At three, Okafor grabs the miss. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of... Oh, man. Oh, man. And you talk about momentum. That sort of action delivers... 52 to 48, man. Your team that you just cannot quantify. Oh, I'm going to quantify something right now, Greg. This is a close game, and that was something special. Well, in a game like this, fellas, when you have a chance to send a message, you do it. And boy, did he do it. And that rebound is <laughs> by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. At the elbow, it's Simmons. Time out called the 76ers. Over here, guys, hustle up. Let's talk. Time out. Commit turnovers when you try to do too much or you force play, good passes, and moving the ball around. A different look for the Clippers. Spates checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Here's comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's Crawford in for JJ Reddick. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Erlins Noel checks in for Okafor. Sarge comes in for Simmons. Grant, he's checked in for Robert Covington. And Luwalu subbed in for Gerald Henderson. So we oh, he just stays there. Way up and two shots coming up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. Raymond Felton Clippers. in for Maurice Spates. No good on the second free throw. Yeah, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Here's Crawford. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. 76ers have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. And the Clippers making a change here. Jordan's checked in. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And a chance for just a second to check. Oh no. For the Open fall. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken advantage. Well, it's been a super performance from beyond the arc, too. I mean, they've been raining in those threes. Los Angeles has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's Pierce. And so he draws the foul on the shot. He shot down the line to shoot two. two. The Clippers have gone six of 11 from the line tonight. And he makes the first. Pierce hits two. Very good. 136 left in the third quarter of the game. Rodriguez passes to Sarge. And stolen by Jordan. And here's the pass play. Jordan leading the way. It's deflected. Oh, no. What are you doing, man? Up the floor. Mr. Luwawu. The 76ers with another miss. Fast break points aside. They've had a tough time offensively. Yeah, trust is what they're, they're missing, guys. You've got to keep moving the ball and shoot with confidence. Ultimately, things will happen well when you play. Yes. Great positioning on the putback. And that's now six points for Paul Pierce. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know when you have that... Oh, no. Penalty every time. This is so, so fucking tight. Miss, 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 miss. Ah, damn you. The Clippers shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Rivers kicks to Felton. Takes the 13 footer. No good that time. And Philadelphia the other way now. Grant the pass to Luau, and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Man, I don't know what happened right there. He just basically walked out of bounds. Paul's checked in for Los Angeles. Stauskas is checked in for Philadelphia. Here's Pierce. Good, and Paul gets the assist. 
So we are leading, but this is just not a lead that you want. Oh, good. Score and give a fall away. Damn. Ah, yes. We need to score after this consistently. Oh, he scored that one. Twenty-four seconds left in the third. Shelton kicks to Pierce. Takes the twelve-footer and hits. Pierce has got eight here in the quarter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Now here's Bayless, defended by Paul. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Here's Payless. Jordan with some nice D. So we are leading. The third quarter. It Finish the third quarter. The last quarter now. So if we can maintain a lead, it'll be good. For joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is up to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. So they have these half time team talks. The 76ers trail by three. Veteran backcourt with ZP3 and Reddick at the one and the two. Griffin is out there with Luke and Bahamuta. And it's Crawford at the three side. That's who's out there for the Clippers. And I'm sensing something special going on here tonight. It certainly does have the feeling of a classic, Greg. Let's see which team is better equipped to handle the pressure. And this has been purely a display of offense that we're seeing here today. And, you know, it's only getting better as both of these teams' defenses are starting to show signs of wearing down. Staskis and ends off the assist by Jared Bayless. Bayless is so we got an injured player here. Um, let's go to team substitution. I'm not sure. This guy C A plus. Let's see. We got a B. B minus. Right. All right. So we did that. First substitution ever. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Clipper shooting has been great up over 50%. That 52%. Crawford, no luck. 76ers have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter stroke. So they take the lead. And the 76ers lead by two. And it's the Clippers with the ball. And Abamute kicks to Reddick. Knocks down the three ball. They're going to change in this game compared to what we saw in the first half. So the injured player scores. A lot of confidence now. And Philadelphia calls time here. Blake Griffin really making a difference here. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they've got to figure out how to contain. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for J.J. Redd. Philadelphia also making some changes. Okafor comes in for Joel Embiid, and it's Henderson for Nick Stauskas. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alden. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Brent Brown talking to this team. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You gotta put it all out there if you want so we have a chance to score from here. 
And what's your tip, guys, in the hustle stats for Los Angeles? Oh! Pressure. But their legs still look fresh. Something else they've done is force a lot of mistakes defensively. And they've been turning those turnovers into points. Jordan, he's checked in for Paul. Missed a chance to put them up three. That's going to affect how they show Oh, up. they almost took a... Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. And, and you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. The Clippers in the lead. Here's Griffin. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Well, it wasn't a textbook pick, but he still managed to score. Good concentration on the finish. And Blake Griffin, really, it seems like he's been a superstar since the day he stepped on the floor here in the NBA. I mean, you know, those posterizing dunks over defenders, always making the highlight reels, and, and, and clearly one of the most exciting big men in, in the league from a, a talent and marketing standpoint. Uh, you know, a little bit of adversity followed him over the course of last season. Let, let's see if he can bounce back and become a true leader on this team. Clippers leading by five. Rivers dishes to Griffin. And he yes! Easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And, and such a steady hand. I mean, he's one of those guys that's really allowed them to take the lead. Well, he's just so reliable and dependable and consistent, especially here today. I mean, his shooting percentage is off the charts. And here's Covington from the arc. That's good, and so Bayless with the assist. Bayless has got his fourth assist in this one. And that's really good use of the catch and shoot. Outstanding by Covington. He's a quick decision maker. Car shitty. His decision as the pass is being thrown to him as to what kind of shot he's going to get off. Tell you what, guys, this side really comes into play when there's a rebound battle going on. He's got an advantage in there. Here's Griffin. And so he earns a trip to the ball. The contact, and he'll shoot two. Blake Griffin doing all sorts of things. He's got 19 points. He's contributed three points on the line, too. And those free throws add up, guys. That is extra offense. Griffin hits them both. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Bayless the pass to Henderson. Here's Covington. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Man, I tell you what, you just really got to admire and respect the fearlessness of Covington. Never backs away from taking a crucial shot. Watching the line there, that'll be a backward violation. You know, I thought they did a decent job. So, in basketball, you can't actually take the ball back. So that's a violation. Balls checked in for the Clippers. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Crawford drives in, and that's good. And the Clippers lead by six. And we've got an injury out on the floor. Very unfortunate as always, guys. I don't like to see this. So another injury, my god. Let's just hope it's not too serious. Yeah, you feel for him right now, and that's my sentiment as well. You can see how much distress he's in, and boy, we just hope and pray that he's okay here. And the Clippers making a change here. Belton's checked in. Okafor, and that comes off the assist by Jared Bayless. Nine points for Jaleel Okafor. And, you know, Okafor's a big time performer. Oh, damn you. Shot, didn't even have to break stride. Launches a three and a 
King, Los Angeles with the triple. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. The 76ers trailed by five. Griffin on the double team. For three, Covington. Mitch Rivers with the rebound. Oh, come on. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Oh, it's a throwing foul. Philadelphia's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Tries from the block. And Chen shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Covington's got 13 points in the second half. And when Covington gets on a hot streak, look out. Really filling it up from all spots on the court. Here's Griffin. He's off on that one. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Henderson kicks to Simmons. He feeds it to Okafor. That one is good again. He's six straight from the floor with the basket. Oh, that's a brain freeze right there from the entire defense. Now is not the time to lose your focus. Well, I think you got to give the offense some credit there. I mean, Triple. Understanding what the defense was giving them and then taking advantage of it. That's what a good offensive player does. Down low. It's good, and so Bayless with the assist. And that's 15 points for Jaleel Okafor. I don't think there's anybody else on this team that feels more comfortable taking the clutch shot than Okafor. I mean, he really laser focuses in these critical situations. Now Bates. Here's Okafor. Hits the front of the rim and out. And that was a difficult shot from mid-range simply because the defense was engaged. Damn it. Really threw him off. Amute with the steal. What is happening? <laughs> what the hell is happening, man? Is it a fall? No. And Philadelphia has possession. Philadelphia with the ball. It's a one point game. Inside. Henderson, it's in as much a shot as I have ever seen. In a word, oh no, Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by one. 23 seconds. This is really like I see it in, in, in Hollywood movies of the basketball, the very last minute. So, this is all the intense about because you have only one more chance. it I'm losing this one what a close game it was <laughs> I bought a tree. <laughs> that is so funny, man. That is so funny. And you got a timeout every time you score. I just don't understand. This is NBA. I just don't understand. Every time you have a timeout and then you score, it's like weird. Is it like a golden ball? You have a golden ball? But I don't think I'm gonna win this one. 
there's 10 seconds left in the fourth. Uh, Gives the defense no time to react. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by two. Seven seconds left in the game. What do you think, guys? You know what? You can go for the three to win or the two to tie. What's your choice in a situation like this? Well, I don't think you set that decision in stone and anchor it in in this timeout. You see how things play out. <laughs> timeout again? <laughs> this is cool. This is going to be so. My God. 50 minutes of me playing this one. Did a draw? Covington kicks to Bayless. The shot from 20 feet away. Oh, he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Regulation is ended, and we're heading to overtime. We'll be back shortly. Oh my God! It's an overtime. Damn! This is so long. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. What is going on? I mean, the first time I know this can't be in a draw. Oh no! A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. LA's got neither of their first two three-point attempts to fall in overtime. Paul with the bucket. We're just over a minute into overtime here. Simmons with it. Paul with the steal. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. To the paint. Here's Covington. Rolled right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. And it's always terrific when Covington gets going down in the paint. I mean, this guy can score the ball from anywhere on the floor. Outside for Griffin. Three pointer. Drops in the tray. Griffin's got 24 points. Great opportunity right there. He's got such a tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. Now here's Simmons, defended by Griffin. A second chance effort. And Simmons with the nice bucket inside. That gives him the double double. 11 points and 11 assists to the left wing. And Bahamute. They get the rebound. Short. It falls. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Get a little pump fake. And then off to the races. And you know, the calm nature of Cummins. Even in tense moments, he stays relaxed. He keeps his composure and finds ways to nail these shots. Talk about doing a rip band week on defense. Come on, guys. Time remaining. <laughs> oh my god. This has been going on for an hour, man. When is this gonna stop? Paul picks up the five. That will be 
foul number five on him. And the 76ers call time here. 29 seconds to go. Oh no. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by two. 23 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Guys, your thoughts? You know what? You can go for the three to win or the two to tie. What's your choice in a situation like this? Well, I don't oh no. something in the paint then you take that but it's about being a good quick shot in this situation Rizzi's check in for the Clippers and I don't need to tell you guys those free throws are big two possession game there. Los Angeles calls timeout they kill <laughs> by four I really can't game. understand not an overtime guys what's your take yeah time a huge factor right now they've got to get points and then the foul yeah it has to be quick because every tip is critical Philadelphia with the ball. They lead by four. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. I pose try. The basket drops, and it's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Control and finish the play. Yeah, we call that playing through the whistle. You know, he didn't give up on it when he heard the whistle. He kept his focus, his concentration. Oh no! Up and, down. and he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the Clippers making a change here. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that makes it a three-point lead. Three-pointer here might have us headed to another overtime period. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Pierce. So what a game it was. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Oh. It's not over. Everything is over. Yeah. Long range from the inbound. This is there. So it's Philadelphia taking the W in a close one here. What a close game, guys. Although we lost, but. Wow, I, I, this is my first time recording this game, I never thought it would be this close, I've played before but always lose like really big margins, two times score, so I mean that's it guys, uh, it's been an hour here, so bye bye.